now I will introduce the Tiny Mite team, coached by Jackie Puglisi, my daughter from my Kelly mother, and Sydney Holman, and your Tiny Mite cheerleaders are Tegan Mulcahy, Shay Coronado, Annabelle Hersey, I Isabel Kelly, and Andy Waters. Let's hear it for the Tiny Mites! That was awesome sauce! Thank you ladies! We now go to the Mighty Mites. Coaches Heather Harris and Amy Leiden. And our student demos are Colleen Donnelly, Amanda Johnson, and Courtney Dugan. Let's hear it for your Mighty Mites, who are Sophia, Hil Sophia Holt, Lily Nado, Gracie Crosby, Ione Constantine, Becca Primer, Sarah James, Kaylee McLaughlin, Andy. Emma Jones, and Emma Marshall. Let's hear it for the Mighty Mites! Thank you, ladies. We now uh, have our Pee Wee cheerleaders, coached by Gary Scribner, Kaylin Scribner, Vanessa Frizzoli, Lauren Hamilton, and here are your Pee Wee cheerleaders Alina Holt, Emma Donnelly, Nanami Ada, Caitlin Archibald, Hannah Mondesir, Brooke Marr, Isabel Kotushan, Sydney Daniels. I got them all. So let's hear it for your Pee Wee squad. Thank you. 
And thank you to our Pee Wee cheerleaders. Excellent job. We now go to the varsity squad. Coached by Sarah Domenico, Nicole Jutris, Crystal Brown. Student demos are Alyssa Louise and Jessica Brown. And your varsity cheerleaders are Casey Johnson, Keely Smith, Maya Thess, Michaela Edwards, Lily Valdez Greenwood, Victoria Remick, Rianne Lyons, Alex Clifford, Alex Io Comitis, Ruby Swist, Elizabeth Fraser, and sorry, Ashley Kerbel. These are your varsity squad. Let's hear it for them. <laughs> And uh, before I bring up the Arlington High School cheerleaders, I want to give a special shout out to Becky Johnson. Um, if you have a name that is often mispronounced and I nailed it, it's because she does everything phonetically. And if you have a name that's often mispronounced and I didn't nail it, it's totally on me. So thank you, Becky. She does that for me every year. These are your Arlington High School cheerleaders, coached by Amanda Bonilla and Allie Seymour. Your Arlington High School cheerleaders are Captain Molly Hankinson, Sarah Santasuaso, Antonia Della Russo, Kylie Prunty, Leah Lombardi, Sophie Mincello, Ava Morales, Amanda Johnson, Courtney Dugan, Jaslyn Burnap, Sadie McLean, and Reagan McNally. Let's hear it for the Arlington High School cheerleaders. Thanks to the moms and dads and grandparents and all the extra time you have to put in at those games and competitions. It's really appreciated. Please enjoy Town Day. It's on the app, but it's also at the Senior Center, events in the garden, um, just about any, uh, I think the uh, beer garden is over there. Just don't stay on Mass Ave. Wander a little. And have fun and be safe. Thank you so much. Good morning and welcome to Arlington's 2019 Town Day. To recap, we just saw the flag being raised, listen to opening ceremonies, and watch those fun, funky cheerleaders. Woo! They had so much energy. I'm here today with Erica Smiley. And can you please tell us what you do? Sure. So my business is called Smiley Baby Hats, and I make um, handmade, crocheted, machine washable hats for all ages. They go from newborn sizes all the way up to adult sizes. Get your adult sized fox hats here and you can enjoy them all winter. It's New England so you might even need one tomorrow. You never know. <laughs> Still to come, we have the Dave Samarco Band. We're here with Antonia of the Arlington High School Cheerleaders. Antonia, you want to tell us a little bit about Town Day and the cheerleaders and what you're doing here? Sure. So um, today we're fundraising for our uniforms and for our banquet and stuff like that. So we're selling scrunchies, we're selling chocolate bars, we're selling waters, and we're selling bows. And we're also doing stunt for a buck and tumble for, tuck for a buck as well. So yeah. Are the scrunchies and bows things you all made? Uh, yes. Some of them we did make. And some of them, like, we have these as well so we can match the kids who want to do it. So if anybody wants to come down here and see a stumble or a trick they can yeah. come and give a dollar and you guys will do a, do some, a cool stunt for us. Yeah. Alright well can we see something now? Yeah. Alright. Ready? 
Let's take a look. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> Thanks so much. Anything else we can know about how to support the cheerleaders in upcoming football season? Um, come support us at our competitions and at the cheer, um, football games. Cheer us on and like cheer the football team on as well. So. And where's your first competition? Um, October 27th. Awesome. That's great. And leagues is November 6th. <laughs> October 27th for their first competition and the leagues is November 6th. Come on down to support the cheerleaders. Thank you. Thank you. allowed to tell you so but like a lot of them are about like peace and saving the earth but they're very good songs and we'll be on the stage in front of town hall over there it's gonna be great what did you think of the cheerleader did you see the performance I didn't see the performance I was really busy last night but um we're talking about yesterday just now <laughs> just now oh I wasn't here I just got here <laughs> Hey, this is Eleni Caminas with ACMI News. We're here at Arlington Town Day 2019 with Cambridge Savings Bank, the sponsor for all of this that happened today. Kathleen Darcy of Cambridge Savings Bank. Can you tell us a little bit about Arlington Town Day and what you're doing here? Sure. Good morning, Eleni. It's a great day. We're so happy it's not raining. Cambridge Savings is happy to be the primary sponsor once again. We have been since 2000. The day We've got so much going on. The bands are getting ready to start. The cheerleaders just went off. We have a lot going on in our garden. We have um, Steve Katzos back, who's our MC, who's an original Arlington resident. And so I just hope everyone can come down. We've got a lot of food. There's a lot of uh, the airbrush tattoos will be back. We have pony rides, lots of stuff for the kids to do. What's your favorite thing about Town Day? Wow. I guess when it starts and seeing how happy everyone is to be here. It's a great community event, you know, and as a community bank, we're just so happy to be able to be the sponsor here today. Are you going to get an airbrush tattoo? I might. I've done it before, so I just might do it again. Something different this year. All right, let's look for Kathleen at the tattoo booth. Thanks so much. Bye, Kathleen. Bye-bye. It's always nice to bump into a fellow friend at Town Day. Guess who I bumped into? Hi everyone, my name is Shen Shen. Uh, we're here to sell bubble tea, it's freshly brewed. Freshly brewed bubble tea. She is a Arlington business employee located right in Arlington Center. The tea is so yummy. If you haven't been there, don't know what it's about, can you explain to us what bubble tea is? Sure, so bubble tea contains um, combines of two main things. One is the fresh brewed tea, and then is the tapioca bubble. So um, our all the tea drinks are freshly brewed here, and uh, we we made bubbles for about an hour. So it's like a pretty. We try to make the bubble tea more healthy. The bubble tea is very yummy. I mean, explaining it, you just have to go try it. Thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs> I'm here with Representative Sean Garbley to talk about what his Arlington Town Day means to him. Hey, Sean, how are you doing? Hey, how are you? What's going on? Good, thanks. How is it at Town Day 2019? It's outstanding so far. We've just only hit the food vendor, so we're trying to make our way up Mass Ave. And what does Town Day mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. You know, it means Arlington, Arlingtonians coming together, uh, celebrating another year, um, being from Arlington Center all the way up the Ave. Um, you know, this is an annual event, and a lot of people work really, really hard to put this together. A lot of volunteers, a lot of sweat and tears, a lot of people out here at 
5.30, 6 a.m., setting up chairs, setting up boots, chalking off the street for where the boots go, making sure everyone has their own area, and a time for individuals and families to really enjoy what Arlington's all about. And yeah, that, is, that is family and community and people coming together, and you see that. You know, if you see someone eating pie at the Pie Palace over the UU Church, or I just saw a friend having a chili dog, people are just having fun. And that's what today is really about. You can really feel a sense of community. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Sean. Great. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of town day. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm out on the streets today, and look who I found. Please tell us your name. My name is Ashley. And what is it that you do today at town day? So I represent the Thompson Elementary School. Um, we sell the community card, which many people may know about. Uh, it costs $10 and gives you ongoing year-round discounts at all of these businesses. Um, you know, you get like a free popcorn at the Capitol, 10% uh, off at Abilene's uh, Frozen Bakery. Uh, we've been doing it for 10 years. Um, this is our primary fundraiser for the PTO, and this is how we pay for all the enrichment. Every We have generous sponsorship to produce the card, so every dollar goes back to the school. That's so awesome. Go out there and get your $10 card, okay? Sounds amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're here with Steve Katzos, MC of today's ceremonies at Arlington Town Day and host of the Steve Katzos Show at ACMI. Steve, what are you looking forward to today? I'm looking forward to some great weather and some great music. The Dave Samarco Band's coming up right now, and uh, it's always great to be here on Town Day, especially with fellow Greeks. That's, <laughs> That's the best, for sure. What are you most excited about? Uh, you know what? I'm excited about the fact that uh, I'm here and uh and you're here and uh and, and there's going to be entertainment in front of the town hall that's that's the most exciting and car pack's here you know if you don't know if you don't know car pack he's the sound guy he's good it's, it's always good to have a good sound guy and what can we look forward to coming up on the steve katzo show well it's off the air now we, we stopped doing the show people keep asking me is it coming back is it coming back and 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 the whole idea of the show is you can begin again and never give up and all that stuff i'm tired so we'll see, maybe next year, I don't know. If you want to throw some money my way, I'll come back. <laughs> we look forward to having you around. Thank you, Steve. All right. Thank you, Eleni. You got to come back, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> you got to come back. <laughs> we miss I'm you. Back. All right, folks, welcome to Arlington Town Day 2019. Get a lot of great talent down here today, so stick around. I'd like to thank the uh, powers that be for having us back. It's always a pleasure to play here. I'd like to thank my band for waking up early. They had late night. Uh, commitments last night, so hats off to them, and God bless everybody. Okay, here's, uh, here's what we do. A little song called One Kind Face.
Title track off our most recent CD called One Kind of Face. All right, a little song now for you. This is a new one called Love Sick Blues. A little country thing for you. Okay, this is in the key of A. Say 
Thanks, folks. Thank you very much. On the right-hand side on my right and your left, Toby Leith on fiddle. Give it up for Toby Leith. On my left, Jim Gildea. Give it up for Jimmy. Jimmy on bass. And thumping away on the drums back there, Mr. Bobby Sweeney. Thanks for coming out to town today, folks. You get a little something for you called Honky Tonk Queen. Wrote this uh, about a friend in Nashville, Tennessee. I was down there in 06. This goes out to Lori. All right, here we go. Honky Tonk Queen. Tom Queen. A little sped up there, but we were excited, I guess. A little exuberance there. All righty here. Uh, we're going to do something that you uh, probably recognize. This one goes out to my sister, Sandra, who couldn't make it here today. For anyone else who likes the song. This was written actually by Bob Dylan, but made popular by uh, Mr. Hootie, AKA Darius Rucker. We do it a little different than both of them.
Tuning here, a little humid. It's close enough for what we do. This branch is supposed to be a little whacked anyway. You know, they don't always stay in tune. Well, some call I need you loving me.
you very much. Uh, something you might recognize here, um, written by a uh, great songwriter. The one by Mr. Joni Cash. For for you here before you get the jazz band up. All right, a little song called uh, Paint the Mountains Red for you now. Well, folks, I'll take, they tell you, if you had one song that you wanted to sing, one song that meant a lot to you, this would be my, this would be my, many of my songs do mean a lot to me and other people, but this one's very dear to me was inspired by my wife, Nicole, and us in our younger years, going up, camping up in North Conway, going through the mountains up there with the trailer and camping and riding. Legendary times, folks, legendary. It's called Paint the Mountains Red. It's on our second CD. Bring 
folks very much on our second CD. We'll do two more here and get the, uh, get the jazz band up and jazz rock here. We're here with Marianne Hanley of the Arlington Library Foundation. She's a board member and here to tell us a little bit about what they're doing down here at Town Day. Hi, I'm from the Arlington Libraries Foundation and we are the fundraising arm for the Robbins and Fox Libraries. Uh, we are gearing up for a capital campaign in a couple of years and we are going to help them raise funds to do that. We also right now are raising funds to cover any shortfall between what the town allots and what their budget requires and what we think that our first class libraries deserve. And what's the most important thing for the libraries coming up for the capital campaign that you want to raise money for? Well, right now um, we are going to be putting in some self-serve stations uh, so more people can check out uh, on their own and uh, we've been doing some furniture upgrades and adding to their collections. There you have it. Thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs> Did you enjoy the Dave Samarco band? Still to come, our host, Paul, is going to be showing you the Smokehouse. I'm Jamie with ACMI News. We're here with Ruth Hirsch at the Friends of the Robbins Library Book Fair today here at Arlington Town Day. Ruth, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on with the books you have here? Yeah, we have a, um, a big annual book sale, and it's a wonderful thing. We, uh, the, it supports the Friends of the Robbins Library, and we actually support programming throughout the year at the library for free. We support the bees on the third floor. We support the Library of Things. We support a whole bunch. We support printing at the library, which is for free uh, from anywhere uh, in the from your computer off site. Uh, the Friends of Robbins Library book sale is fantastic. It's fun. There are a lot of people here. There's books downstairs, books upstairs. There's hardcover books. There's trade paperbacks. There's children's books galore. They range from picture books. They range from hardcover um, uh, books to picture books to series books. As you can see, there are a lot of people here. This is a fun event. People come, actually people come and volunteer who have volunteered for years. They come year after year to help. They get here at 7.15 in the morning. They set up tables. They put up books. It's a whole town event. During the whole week and a half to, uh, up to this event, people volunteer. They come in and they, um, they sort books. It's really fun, actually, and then you end up having these fantastic conversations about books and about life, and it's wonderful. So that's, I love Town Day. It's really, really a wonderful event, and I love this book sale. You can just see, like, I mean, hundreds of people here looking for books. Books are not, they have not gone away. People still love books. So um, that's it. That's so great. And are these books donated? Yes, they're all donated. They're donated for, like, up for about a month and a half before the book sale. People donate. I personally donated about uh, 100 books this year. Um, it's a great way to give back. And some of them are really, like some of these books, if you look around, there are some real treasures here. Um, so it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful event. That's great news. And how are the bees doing? Oh, the bees are so, well, right now they're probably a little dormant, but they're doing really well. The honey, we have a honey raffle that we have um, for free. You can put your name and phone number in for a raffle. And we pull out the, um, sorry, we, um, we draw from the raffle um, every hour. And you can get free honey, which is from the bees on the third floor. And it's really good to have um, local honey because it's good for allergies. So if you have any local, you know, allergies. Um, so anyway, that's, I think I'm talking too much, but. Yeah, Yo, you're doing great. This is super helpful. You can come on down and enter the raffle and get your free Arlington Library honey. <laughs> yeah, and also if you join today as a new member, you can get a free uh, tote bag. And it has a beautiful logo on it. And also once a year, this is the free tote bag if you join as a new member. But also once a year, we actually sell these amazing tote bags, which we only sell once a year. And these are the Friends of the Robbins Library tote bags. On one side is the Robbins. And the other side is the fox, and this is actually made. These were uh, the drawings are made by the daughter of a librarian, and uh, they're really a wonderful thing. I have five of them. I get them for gifts once a year for people. So um, this is how we raise money, and we do, as you probably see, we do with these wonderful programs throughout the year. You want to see? Here? So these are some of our programs. And we are a team of volunteers. We all just volunteer. We have a small board and we have tons of volunteers that help out. Because this Robbins Library is a very special library, as you know. Other than it being beautiful, it's just really, 
it's really a unique library and we're a wonderful community so thanks so much Ruth totally agree thank you so much thank you for for the interview have a great day ACMI would like to thank Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Stop and Shop, Food Link, and Trina's Pizza, and a special thanks to Michael Armanius.